First, we'll sign up for Auth0. And so now we have a fresh account. And the first thing we'll need to do is get the URL of our account. So it's code daily, but also in the US region. You can find that here by going to custom domains and seeing that it is code daily US Auth0 or whatever your domain happens to be. Now that we have this, we can construct the URL that we can then give to Hasura to author authenticate a JWT that comes in. To do that, we add a Hasura GraphQL JWT secret. The type will be RS256, and the JWK URL is gonna be our domain that we said with this additional extension, well-known JWK JSON. And if we take a look at this in a browser, we can see that it's just going to be a bunch of keys that will allow Hasura to verify and validate uh, tokens that are issued by our Auth0 account. Now that we've added this to our Hasura, we need to start our Hasura back up. So we can say Docker Compose up, I have an alias to D up, and it will now create the container and just apply this uh, this GraphQL secret. So then we can CD into our Hasura and open up the console. Before we can get a JWT to test with Hasura, we first need to do a couple things. The first being users. So we have a user here, which is just me. The second is a role. So this role will have to line up with your permissions inside of Hasura. So if we click create role, you can create any type of role and we just have the name here called user and so that when we assign and create a JWT, we'll just use the user permission, the user role in Hasura. With a role all created, we need to then apply that role to the user so that when they authenticate, we can see which roles that they have. You can do that here by going to the user, clicking on roles and clicking assign roles, but we already have that role assigned to that user. So now when this user authenticates, we can actually get access to this list of roles. Auth0 allows us to run custom code after various actions by the user. So if we go to actions and go to flows, the thing that we care about is after the user logs in. Once the user logs in, we can then run some custom code called inject Hasura. And those are created over here. And we'll take a look at that. On this particular execution, whenever a user logs in, it is filled in with the roles for this particular user. And so we can see if the user has any roles, if their email address has been verified, if it has not been, we will just you know deny them access. Otherwise, we'll add our custom Hasura claims to the JWT token. So if you look here, we'll add the JWT with the default role being whatever the first role is. And then the second being the allowed role. So if the user had more than just the user role, maybe a manager role or some other sort of role, then we could allow the user to then select that when in our application code. And then additionally, we'll pass in a user ID. This user ID will then be crucial for inserting automatic stuff into our database. Before we log in, we'll need to build out a URL to allow us to log in. So if we go to applications, we have a default app that's automatically created. We will need this client ID, and we will additionally need to set up a callback URL. This callback doesn't matter for us in this particular thing, but this will need to be your application's URL for callbacks to receive the token. And now we're ready to log in. If we open up a new tab or new browser, you can see here that we have our domain name with the slash authorize. The response type is ID token. This will be our JWT request with the redirect URI that we just set and the client ID of that particular generic default application that Auth0 initializes with. So once I press this, I'll be prompted with the login. So I can go ahead and log in. You see up here in the browser, we now received an ID token at our callback URL. So if we copy this, and we go to a site like jwt.io and paste it in. You now see that our claims are here with the allowed roles. The default role is just our first role and we have a user ID that aligns with our particular user in Auth0. And now we're ready to check this out inside of Hasura. So if we grab our token, 
can go into the Hasura console, which is now validating against our well-known jwks.json. We'll remove the admin secret and we'll set authorization, let's say bearer, and paste in our token there. And now, don't worry about these, these are just from removing that admin secret. If we click on this decoded JWT, we can see that it is a valid token, and then we can see our Hasura claims as well as other various pieces.